This video is not a joke. I was an easily frightened child. There's a lot of stuff that freaked me out. Stuff like Alien Mr. Burns in the X-Files episode of The Simpsons, or the scary line from Teletubbies, or this Loch Ness Monster documentary I got left alone with. Now they're all scary subjects at the best of times. Aliens, a fucking lion, a sea monster. I can see why they would have scared me as a kid. But until recently, I've had trouble rationalising why I was so fucking scared of Wallace and Gromit. Because they're not horror stories. There's only one or two scenes across all the shorts I would define as out and out scary. But the horror comes in several different ways, both in the seen and the unseen. The scene is obvious. Claymation is fucking scary. And Armin Animations, the company that made Wallace and Gromit, have proven they know how to leverage that scariness to best effect in some of their less child-friendly shorts. Let's take a look at their short Babylon, for example. This was Arben's contribution to the Sweet Disaster Anthology series, which was a bunch of shorts each depicting their own vision of the apocalypse. It takes place in this grim, war-scarred, kinda neo-blitz vision of Britain, and we're a fly on the wall at this penthouse party of kinda free-market Tory-type arms dealers as they backslap and absolve each other of any guilt they've accrued over their warmongering. And you know, they're drinking, they're making merry, generally being serpents, all while this thing is looming over the proceedings. He's like their greed and their guilt made flesh. He watches them run out of excuses and become more and more desperate, sweating as they watch him grow and grow and swell up until his belly bursts and floods the room with blood and bullets. And it's still only half as scary as the pie machine from Chicken Run. Or take their short eye dent, which is just like an immaculately extracted swine flu nightmare from start to finish. It's just weird. Claymation is just weird. Maybe it's the uncanny movement, the finger marks on their skin that warp in real time, or the eyes permanently fixed as wide as they can go. Seriously, the, the fucking eyes, man. Because Wallace might just be a lovable old guy who only wants to make inventions, eat cheese and crackers and hang out with his dog. But he's also hideous. All things aside, is that a face you want to see peeking at you through the crack in the door when you're having a shite at 2am? Now this is all just one aspect of the scare factor. As I said, there's the seen and the unseen, and the unseen is where things get really weird. Maybe this is just a personal thing, but once I've said it, it might be hard to unsee. You ready? Where is everyone? Seriously? This town that the boys live in? Where is everyone? It's a normal town. Streets, buildings, lampposts. But no people. There are signs of life. Like, people clearly live here, or used to live here. But it's totally abandoned except for our main characters. Daytime. Night. Nothing. It's a complete ghost town. In a close shave, there's Wallace, Gromit, Wendeline, Preston, and a flock of sheep. But I think the closest we ever get to seeing an actual background character is whoever slips the jigsaw and the food under Gromit's cell door. A grande out had that robot on the moon, but he just raises more questions. Who made him? Why is he there? Has he just always been there? Is he still there? Did you see how fast it resorted to violence? And I know that Curse of the Were-Rabbit had a whole load of townsfolk. And I think it's for that reason the film never really made a connection with me. Being a feature film, obviously they've got more of a budget to model as many plasticine people as they want. But that made it lack that quiet oddness that the short films have. There's this sort of horror concept called liminal spaces which has been getting talked about a lot recently. From what I can work out, a liminal space is an environment where you expect to see lots of people, but there are none, and that gives it a very uncanny feeling. If you've ever been in your school after hours, or taken a walk in a major city on New Year's Day, you've probably felt this. And that feeling comes to me in spades when I watch Wallace and Gromit, because of the lack of background characters. The town itself, too, is sort of creepy. It's this Empty, slightly grim northern outskirts, sort of cartoonishly welcoming but with these echoes of industry, smokestacks and faded adverts on the end of terraced buildings, 
one of many towns that would have been booming in pre-Thatcher Britain, but that was left impoverished during and after, leaving only quiet warehouses overlooked by chimney shadows cast long by sunset, like the view from a high window in some Lovecraft seaside town. The whole experience of watching a Wallace and Gromit short just sets off all kinds of alarm bells in the back of my head that something is just not right. And a lot of the time, this horror that comes from things that aren't intended to be scary is often the strongest. Why is that? If you see what I see, please let me know so I know I've not just been losing my fucking mind for the past 20 years. And if you've never noticed what I've been talking about, maybe give them another watch. You might see an element to them that you never saw before.